save at Solar Dynamics. So today we've got a brief video just to show you there's other ways that you can save that power as opposed to giving it back to the grid. So back in the day when fit payment was a thing, everyone was sending power back to the grid and getting paid good money for it, and they still are. Whereas people that are the late adopters to getting solar, they can qualify for SEG, but SEG is only paying up to 16 pence. So ideally, you want to use that power as much as possible and not send it back to the grid. So the ways that we can do that with the solar is obviously you can have battery storage. So the battery storage, the way it's going to work is after your household is covered, so that's the priority load, any surplus power that would normally go back to the grid would then be diverted into the battery. So then at a later date, like later on in the, the, the day, once the sun's setting and it's not generating as much power, you're obviously backed up by the battery. As a boy, to avoid pulling from the grid, you'll use the battery power instead. But then once your battery is full, you will continue sending power back to the grid. So in order to stop that happening, if you have a hot water tank with an immersion heater in there, what we can do is fit an eddy. So this is a product by My Energy. it's called the eddy, and it's basically an energy diverter. So any surplus power is also picked up by this system. So after the house is covered, the battery's full, and the power is going back to the grid, this system then picks up that surplus power and it will automatically heat your hot water. So that way, as opposed to giving it back to the grid, you're heating your hot water. So this is just one of the many products that we offer here at Solar Dynamics. So if you are interested in maximizing your solar system, give us a call.